Hey everyone, welcome to our Photographer of the Year finalist reveal, our top six photographers of the year. Thank you so much to you all who entered. Uh, we had a fun time going over these. We're excited to reveal the six of you who made it this far. We already did an extensive critique video of this, which you can go watch on our YouTube channel. For right now, I'm just going to jump right in to revealing our top six finalists. Here we go. Our first one, Vianney Rudent, who took most of these photos, if not all of them, in southern France. A wonderful, wonderful collection. We talked about all of these. Um, on our last video, but technically wise, um, editing wise, just really, really amazing work. The uh, three water spouts, especially unique. This one with the island, with the water around it and the distant lightning bolt. A very, very awesome collection, Viani. Thank you so much for entering. Congratulations for making our top six. Next one, David Baxter the third. Fantastic year of chasing for David. Saw some amazing storms, obviously, from his portfolio with it a really, really wonderful shot that we loved as pretty much our favorite with this lightning bolt down the middle of the road. A wonderful composition, a wonderful moment of, of getting lucky, but also being in the right position to plan for the shot. Very, very fun portfolio. Thank you, David, for entering. Congrats on making our top six. Here we go to our third Finalist, Nina de Munster. Congratulations, Nina, on making our top six. Nina had a great, fantastic year of chasing, and we really, really dug all the variety and storytelling in her portfolio. Uh, all these images are just beautiful. Um, one of our absolute favorites is this black and white with this monster storm developing the distance and this car on the horizon. The, the, the juxtaposition of this, the storytelling is unbelievable. Really, really love that picture. And this lightning bolt illuminating the ground, absolutely one of our favorites. It was in our top 30 photo of the year. Uh, congratulations, Nina. Thank you for entering. Um, excited about uh, your portfolio. Next up, number four, Melanie Metz, who has a top 10 photo for our finalist photo of the year. She um, had another uh, unbelievably fun year, chase all over the place from the Central Plains all the way back up to Minnesota with the uh, Dalton Tornado. Just powerful, you know, cone tornado there. Great photos, tasteful edits. Love this edit of the um, Arnold Supercell. Fantastic, uh, fantastic work. Melanie, congratulations on making our top six. And the next up, number five, Tim Baca. We just love Tim's um, portfolio, a great variety of images and compositions, you know, long exposures with light trails, looking for beautiful foreground elements, this tractor equipment foreground, different um, kinds of scenes from a mattice to lightning to shelf clouds to old barns. Finding unique foregrounds like this one we really, really loved, which, you know, none of us knew what it was or know what it is still, but an uh, unreal foreground that um, I'd like to see out there. So great job, Tim, on your variety, on your editing, and some of the scenes you captured. You had um, a fantastic season chasing. And finally, number six, Amy Howard. Um, another just great set of images, tastefully edited. Um, great scenes, house with a storm behind it, all isolated. Um, we really, really love this photo with this hail-covered road and the passing storm behind and the stars. An image um, that, that um, Amy shot that not a lot of us would probably stop and turn around and, 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 and shoot. And so this was just beautiful and just a unique storytelling image with the hail, um, aftermath of the storm and how the storm is kind of moving off in the distance and the skies are clearing. I love, uh, love the storytelling in this image. And these horses up against that crazy moving storm back there. Beautiful, beautiful image. And another one of my favorites was this shot down the road where I might normally not be um, stopping for a photo, but the light on the railing and the road and, and the warmth of the sunset 
just um, it works so well and a beautiful lightning strike um, under this storm. Congratulations, Amy, on uh, making our top six. So there you go. Those are our amazing top six finalists. Thank you all for entering. Um, those who made it to our finals and who didn't, uh, appreciate your support on this contest. Next week, Wednesday, March 31st, will be our live award show on YouTube. I hope you can watch it. We will be revealing our top three winners of Photographer of the Year and, of course, our winner. So please be on there. We may have to try to get the winners to jump on and be with us and talk about their photos. So hopefully you can make it. Thank you again for all your support and being a part of this contest. We, uh, we can't wait to figure out how we choose a winner.